Check it. You get home, got two ripe bananas. You ain't going to eat them. You're going to turn them into 142 banana bread. <laughs> So check it out. It's called 140 because pretty much everything that goes into it is 140. So look, straight up. Got to make some buttercream. So we'll do 140. Lovely, lovely normal sugar. Oh, check it. Watch it go. Boom, 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 boom. There we are. Oh, shit. A little bit too much. Ah, be all right. Slam it in. It's my jug. I need to do the same again. Get this side with a bit of butter. Grab a little bit of this low pack. Nice and easy. Because this is soft. Soft butter, butter. Makes it easier to mix it. We want 140 of this lovely stuff. Over there. And we knock this in. But when I first did this recipe of mine, I used to use a whisk to do it, but that just gets it all knackered. So, in with a fork, gotta fork it and get that butter to mash. But that's why I use this stuff. A little pack soft. Get that softness in there. <laughs> It makes you an amazing banana bread, this. Trust me. One to go. Get that stuff mixing in. And now, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Pretty good. I'm gonna chuck this to the side for a sec though. And I'm gonna measure it on the 140, on the zero. You got 140 flour as well. You get it? 140. Now you're thinking, 142. Where's that two coming from? That's because you see to the side there, I've got two eggs. I've got two ripe bananas. And that's the key, really. So you got them after we get this folded in. We're laughing. A little bit over again. Out. Boom. One for you. So we're still mix, mix, mix in. To get this nice, good cream. You see it? That proper cake mix cream. Get in there. I'm going to knock my eggs in. No messing about. Straight in. Use a good whip in. Tiny bit of that flour. To get it, I'm going to try and fold this. Oh look, I ain't no chef. All I know, you get this kind of mixing right. Well, turn it in, and like that, does the job. You're just looking for a big jar of goodness. And keep mixing in. Good for forearm strength. <laughs> You get the idea. It's all great. Fold it a bit more. Boom. See it all in. Oh. Stretch out and give it a mix. Good. Just want to get this mixed nice and good. 
now. The magic. Right, bananas, maybe a bit more ripe than that, but these things will do well. You'd never eat these properly. A little bit too over. Might be a little bit too under, but let's just see what happens when we chuck it in. So just throw it straight in. Nothing fancy. Again, straight off with a peel. Now fancy, straight in. Boom, 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 boom. Again, give me the fork. You just want to get it nice and smoothish if you can. A couple lumps here and there don't matter, but you want to get most of that banana chopped up with a fork. So you could use a whisk, but I think this is better and you get nice little nuggets of banana goodness when you cook it up. And it keeps it nice and moist. That's what you want. Nobody wants a dry cake. Say it dry, it's 142 banana bread. Now fancy, this is easy. Anybody can do this. If I can do this, anybody can do this. A little interlude, video messed up before. Forgot to say that you need to have at least one teaspoon of wonderful bicarbonate soda. Oh yeah. I've got little things that fit inside this tray here. And put them in. But first you've got to grease it down. So let's give a bit of grease on it. A little bit of butter, just the butter I was using before, same stuff. And we go all around that tin. There we are. Like I said, you could just fill that full of baking parchment, paper, grease proof paper. But here we go. Look at that. Well worth it. Makes it nice and easy. Let's just put that in. Proper. There we go. And then we're ready. We're ready to fill the thing. Ooh. Check it out. Should fill the whole thing up. So you want to get nice and even in the thing. Get every little bit of goodness out. Look at it. Oh, yes. Man, best thing ever. Have this. A cup of coffee, a cup of tea in the morning. Yes. Make yourself, your friends. Work makes happy. What are you talking? Look at that. Just get it all up, straight up to the corners, all around. And like I said, now fancy, apart from my fancy paper. Super fancy. And there we go. Jobs are good. In. <clears throat> so now we've got this in my oven. That's Mark 4, mine it is. Stick it in there for about 35 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. To the oven with it, check out my oven. What a beauty, what a beast. But there we go, look, gas mark four, boom. Lovely gas just cooking there. I'm gonna slam this in, right in that middle shelf, right into the middle. We'll come back and see you in 35 minutes. Beauty. Bang on 35 minutes later, let's check out what's going on. I ain't touched this since. Yeah, ooh, that's looking good. Looking pretty sweet. I don't think it's quite done just yet. So we might need to leave this in for a bit longer. Do you see that? See how it wobbles? Yeah, shicky, shicky, shicky. A little bit of wobble there, a little bit of wobble. Now the thing to do, if you've got a barbecue, it'll be sorted. You get one of these bad boys. And you just put it in the middle. And you can feel it, I can feel it's way too soft. When you pull it out, see what it's like? It's still got a bit of banana on it. Yeah, that's not good. So we need to put that in for probably about another five, 10 minutes, and we'll come back. So we're back again, and that's actually taking 20 minutes, not 10, not five, a little bit longer, but it's all worth it, because look at this goodness. Oh yeah, check it out. Look at this. Let's get it out for you. I had to burn myself silly. And there we go. So yeah, to check, look at that. See how it's raised? Proper loaf. Oh, it smells amazing. So here we go. Put in the barbecue skewer. You could just use a fork or something. Somebody gets to the bottom of the tin. That's what you need. And you can see it comes out. And if you can see that on camera, that is clean as a whistle. And that's exactly how you want it to be. As soon as it's like that, it's nice and caramel on top. We're good to pull this out of the oven. 
So that's what we're going to do. So here we are. Look at that. Fresh out of the oven. Absolutely beautiful. Look how golden that is on top. That's exactly how you want it to be. So check it. Got it here. It's a nice little resting tray. But anything will do really. As long as it's not plastic, don't melt. Don't want to go that far. But look, you do what you do. But here we go. Banana bread cake. Straight up. 142. BB. Get in. So I'm going to leave this here for about an hour. And then we're going to come back to it. Get out of that tin. Slice off a bit and have it with a nice brew. Straight out of the tin, we've got it straight onto the board. Check it out. Look how fresh it's looking. Look how good it is. Can move out of the way. I'm going to take a lovely slice out of this now. Oh, check it out. Look at that. Look at the edges on that. The bit of butter you put in before does make this a little bit greasy in that, but it just makes it super easy to get out. Which is amazing. But look, you see that? That's what you're looking for. Lovely, lovely little, beautiful loaf. Nice bit of banana bread. So I'm going to take it out nice and gentle, put it on there. How good is this? And take my knife. Let's just do a slice in. Oh, what a crunch. Check it. Oh, I'm going to let the knife do all that work. Slice it down. Boom. How good is that? And there you go. Right there. That is your 142 BB banana bread. Plain and simple. Look, if I can make this, anybody can make this. I'm going to enjoy this now with a nice brew to get along. If you like this video, please click on the like below. Feel free to subscribe. This is my first one here. So like, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to do. Uh, thinking of doing a uh, fried grilled cheese sandwich next. Uh, with a bit of gherkins inspired from a fried bologna one I saw online somewhere. But I'm going to do it Yorkshire style, a nice bit of Yorkshire ham, a nice bit of Yorkshire cheese, proper Yorkshire tea, and maybe a slice of this on the side. But anyway, hope this has been useful to you, and I hope you enjoy your banana bread. 142 BB. I'm out. <laughs>